So do you remember the visible light spectrum? No. Okay, so I just think of, for visible light, it's just our color wheel. So Roy G Biv. And so violet has the, on this scale, which one has the shortest wavelength? guessing if I said. Oh, okay, so red has the shortest wavelength, so wavelength is decreasing, or sorry, wave, sorry, red has the longest wavelength, so wavelength is increasing as we go up this way, and it's decreasing as we come from this side, and energy of the photon, or sorry, we should just say frequency, and that's this, right, frequencies. The V is increasing as we go up this side. And so the energy levels on violet are higher than they are for red. And then above this, we have like UV rays, so ultraviolet, so higher than violet. And then red, we have infra. And so lower than red. And then we can keep going down the spectrum. And so the question is asking, when a salt is ignited, it burns with a red flame. The frequency of light given off by this flame is greater than, so if we look at our, our spectrum here, we're going to be right here. So it burns with a red flame, right? So we know that it's lower than any of the other colors, right? because we're talking about frequency. And so it would be higher than anything behind this point. So infrared light. Right, infrared would be the, the best choice for this one. And that's because if we <coughs> took this out, we'd have UV rays, and then we'd have X rays, and then gamma rays, where the Hulk was made. So yeah, helping, for me, all I do is, if you just remember Roy G. Biv, that helps a lot with most of these types of questions. And then just remembering like one or two, maybe not having to remember the particular order of these three or the ones after infrared, but just remembering which side of the color wheel they go on. So did that help at all? Yeah. Clarifying? Okay. And especially if your test is um, tomorrow, do you feel pretty prepared for it or on some of the things? Uh -huh. Not this as much. Okay. Something that helps me when I'm studying for any test, and especially tests that I feel like I don't remember a lot of the material, is I just get one piece of paper and then I just make kind of like a study guide myself of things that I feel like are important and will be on the test. And I just rewrite that same piece of paper like three or four times until I have it memorized. And then I go into the testing center and I just rewrite that same study guide and it becomes like my Bible for the test. Because like, I don't know if you do this, but when I'm taking a test and I'm not as confident in it, I like start getting really nervous and I'm like, wait, is it this or is it that? And like start second guessing myself. And so then I can look at my little cheat sheet that I made, and I'm like, okay, whew, this is what it is, and it kind of calms you down a little bit, at least for me, so. Especially the testing center. Yeah, so I would, uh, I would recommend doing that, so. So green light can have a wavelength of 512 nanometers. The energy of a photon of this light is, okay, so the important thing for this question is if we just remember the equation. Wait, 